And I just want to ask you a question, okay? But I want you to be really honest with me, okay? Do you ever look at your grandpa and his friends and think to yourself, oh, Granddaddy? No, that's weird. You're weird. What a fox. Yeah, no. Love, love, don't judge. Today we're taking a look at another episode of the great show, Love Don't Judge, where they show us a bunch of bizarre relationships, such as, for instance, the man who married his son's classmate. Oh my god, just imagine like, you could just imagine this on yourself right now. Imagine your dad met your, you know, friend and was like, choose the one. Oh. Well, um, it's a reality for one dude. Let's take a look at this couple, okay? If you want to see more of these, drop a thumbs up. We can make a part three, but only if we get to 40,000 likes. These are pretty hard to watch. Come at a high cost. You and I, we're gonna have to try to love and not to judge, which is, you know, kind of not what this channel is about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're all about love here, all right? And remember that you're single, right? You're single. Remember that. <laughs> What's your type? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. Let me know your type. Is it bizarre? You weirdo. No wonder you're single. Ew. What? Everything makes sense now. Trisha, you're strange. Okay. <clears throat> Just kidding. Mm. Oh my god, too soon. I was not ready for that. That was too soon. Mm. Y'all caught me off guard. All right. I think a lot of people don't understand that age gap relationships can be genuine. The majority seem to assume that there's got to be something else going on. Well, everyone thinks <clears throat> I'm a gold digger. She knew my son before she knew me. Oh my god, that's so weird. I'm sorry, that's so weird. Don't tell me that's not- that's- come on! She knew my son before she knew me. Oh my god. Man's really just stole his son's girl. Okay, I'm- I'm done. This is 24-year-old Stephanie. She fell in love with 69-year-old Don. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's like one of my best friend's age. I can't imagine my best friend with someone who's 70. Come on. You know, never mind. I'm sorry. Well, love has no boundaries, okay? Everyone's got a type. If they're happy, they're happy, right? Love, don't judge. Hold the door for you. We've been together for just over four years. Married since August. Oh my god! There's 45 years between us. 45 good years, yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? What do you mean 45 good years? Were they good years? I don't know, I wasn't there. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird! <laughs> she didn't exist for those 45 years. Is that, is that your dad's age? 45? She didn't exist, <gasps> his wife. <laughs> That's right, you weren't. <laughs> Cheers, Missy. Mm, cheers, baby. Don't call him baby. Respect your your, your elders. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love, don't judge. What's wrong with you? I respect this relationship. Before I met Dawn, I was living on my own. I settled on a job at a pub, and I met you. Stephanie uh, appeared one day when I was there, mm. so we started getting curious and. <laughs> talking and flirting and different things like that and it just uh, kind of steadily progressed. This is before you knew that she was an acquaintance of your son or? <laughs> we partied down till 2.30 in the morning and then... Uh, he stayed the night at my house. When these two hooked up... <laughs> oh my god! This host has no chill. She just flat out said it. My girl was trying to be classy, you know, eloquent about it. She was like... Yeah, he stayed over at my place. And then the host comes in and says, When these two <laughs> Alright. The match caused a bit of a stir. I was surprised. I personally don't have a problem with it, but I, I do see people giving them looks. 
I'm so bad. Best thing? For me, it's the sex. And <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't know, so who are we to say, right? Later into their relationship, the couple discovered a rather unexpected relationship. I have one boy from a uh, previous marriage. He would now be 24, roughly. He doesn't even know his son properly. He actually went to school with Stephanie. <coughs> we were laying in bed one day, just in the middle of the afternoon talking. Dawn tells me this story. And then I was like, wait, what's his name? And he repeats it. I was like, oh my god, like, I know him. You're so-and-so's dad. Like, I went to school with this kid. She knew my son before she knew me. <laughs> Which is... I didn't know. A little strange. And you guys look so much alike. I was like, how did I not catch on to that? I don't know. But... This is, this is extremely uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Like, look, there's nothing wrong with this relationship. It's just, you know... I can be uncomfortable. Shit. That one's cute. These two are my favorite. He proposed to me. We tried for a baby. Three weeks later, I had a positive test. And there's Lachlan pulling my hair out. He just turned yeah, one. Mommy's baby. Yeah, I caught you. Look at all the snow out there. Holy! That's not. That's not good, though. Okay. Um, who am I? Who am I to judge? But, I don't, I don't, I, something about this just doesn't sit right, you know? Like, this is a lady who wants a family, she wants a child, and she's got with a man who already has all these things. He does not care for them, clearly. He doesn't even know his son's actual age. Obviously not in touch. I don't know, I don't know, maybe they have personal reasons. I just couldn't, I couldn't tell. I don't know, I don't know. Who are we to just... And the cat drinks the milk. Being my age, I'm not worried about being around later. I mean, obviously would like to, <laughs> but uh, you know, Mother Nature plays a role in it and I'm just going to take it as far as I can. After that, I guess he can push me around in my wheelchair. Well, everyone thinks <clears throat> I'm a gold digger. Where is the gold? Yeah, let's go find it. Where's the gold? We're looking for the gold. Give me the gold, babe. <laughs> oh, what do you like? Is she disappointed or is like, where's the gold I signed up for? <laughs> People insult me more than they insult Dawn because I'm the gold digger. I'm the one with daddy issues. I'm the one who can't support myself. I need a man to save me. All right, you know, love is weird. Love is strange. Love, don't judge. Wow. The news that they were dating came as quite a shock to many especially those closest to Stephanie, who was just 20 years old at the time. My mom was not a fan at all. Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna see the, the parents' reactions. Okay, I'm in for this. You ready? Let's take a look. My dad was not a fan. My brother was absolutely not a fan as well. So nobody was really on Dawn's team. For my side of the family, they were a little bit like, what are you doing, you know? They thought I was making a mistake, or I got myself into a situation. The first time when Stephanie came forward and told told me that uh, she was dating a man who actually was the same age as her father, it was um, a little shocking. I was not happy at first. I, I felt that Stephanie was um, losing out on a chance to meet somebody that she could grow old with because she was with somebody who was already old oh my god i mean that's the idea with like a relationship i feel right that's why when there's such a massive age gap it just doesn't really work function the same as a couple are now fully committed into their relationship their respective families are coming around to the match so it was a little shocking with don being the same age as dad <laughs> yeah it just seemed a little different. Yeah. Right? She's not letting that go, the mom. She's like, you know, I'm just reminding you. You're her dad's age. They'll enjoy your marriage. When you said some dating somebody older, you know, 
I would have thought 10 years older was older. Mm -hmm. It was different once we once I met Dawn and and it was even more different once I saw the two of you together and how you interacted. Oh my god, please, I'm sorry. I can't with the with the open mouth eating. <laughs> With a couple trying to lead a normal life together, raising their son, they've often found it hard going out in public together. If I have Lachlan out for a walk or something and someone says, oh, Grandpa's got the little boy out today, I don't even correct them. People used to be awful, like so awful. I just can't even believe it. Today, they're headed to soft play with their son. I have never been to soft play. Going to the play place, people will me stare they may just think grandpa's along for the ride for the day after five years of this we just go and do our thing i mean um i just don't okay you know what i, I, I you know what you, you tell me you know you tell me what you think down in the comments about this right like i just let's see the judgment happening and then we can decide okay that's better let's see how people judge them i mean <laughs> good job it's heavy. Bring it out, baby. Yeah. If Lachlan's having fun, we're having fun. And I don't even notice if there's other people around us or... Like, I used to look for them. And sometimes I like to call them out on it. My first impressions were that it was a grandfather with his daughter and grandchild. That's logical, you know, that's anybody's first impression. She was in love and happy and he treated her the way that she should be treated. That's good. I agree. You know, we can all agree on that, right? Dating a man much older than her, Stephanie has found she's been subjected to many stereotypes that go along with her type of relationship. The worst stereotype, oof. Everybody seems to say I am in this for a life insurance check. Uh, I'm a gold digger? I mean, look, that's what everybody- Okay, we get it. Okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. Okay, it's just so mad about it. Okay, you know. Shit. Everyone thinks I'm a gold digger? Where's the gold? Where's the gold? Alright, honey. We've moved on. Don, now in his 70s. The couple are having to face more than just judgment due to his age. Not all, but a lot of my beer drinking buddies who were on my age are just passing away. A couple or three this year. And there's no point in worrying about it or being scared of it because then it's just going to ruin every day. I'll try and give you some warning. Please, don't. <laughs> I told him, I said, don't you dare die in your sleep. I'd be so mad. <laughs> I'd be so mad. No don't do words. that to me. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know. I'd be so mad. No don't do words. that to me. <laughs> this is a little bit awkward, uncomfortable. Um, it's definitely not going to go too far. And that's sad. It's sad that you, she chose to have a child that could, you know, be fatherless. Honestly, let's look at the facts. I'm not trying to be a bitch, okay? I'm just trying to be real, you know? People always tell me, they're like... <laughs> Um, I'll pray for you. Like, I'm sort like, you're in a really scary situation. Mm -hmm. He's gaslighting you. He's or grooming you. Um, you need to, you know, you need to talk to somebody and get help and get out. Like, you're in a really toxic relationship. And I was like, <laughs> all right, so here's a guy who puts gas in my car, he brings me home flowers, he puts cute little sticky notes on my mirror, um, he rubs my feet or my back every night after work. Uh, what else do you do? Man, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Despite the many factors going against their relationship, Don and Stephanie are out to prove that love knows no boundaries. And they're not shy about it. Oh, baby, how are we going to prove the haters wrong? I don't think we have to prove it. We'll That's just my biggest thing. Is show them by living your life the uh, best you can and raise the son the best we can and, and show them that it's going to be a success. We choose, I guess, not to hide our relationship because why? Would you hide yours? I mean, look, here's my honest opinion. Okay, look, I respect the relationship. If they're having fun and they're enjoying it and they're both so mutually happy about it, then go ahead. But sometimes, even if you're in love, to avoid the other person getting hurt, you know, you must not pursue a relationship. Am I right? Like, if I was 70 and I met a girl in her 20s, 
I'm not gonna pursue a relationship with her because I know I don't have much time and I know that if she gets attached, attached, we didn't even talk about a child yet. She gets attached and she starts developing catching feelings of some sort, you know, and then I just disappear because I passed away. I know she'd be really hurt and I wouldn't want to do that to somebody. That would be very selfish of me. You feel me? So that's why I don't know how I can get, I don't know, like I'm trying to get on board in this relationship. Again, it's not my place to judge. I'm just throwing out my opinion. Um, it's just what I think, you know? Did you see where I'm coming from? Imagine being the child in this situation. It's like, hey mom, where's dad? Oh, dad, gone. Because he had you when he was 17. Oh, um, why? That's, what? What? No, come on, come on. At least if she wanted like, okay, you want a family, fine. You want to you love this man, sure. You want to enjoy his company, you know, sure. Until he passes and you're aware of that, sure. But don't bring a third life into it, you know? Like that's, that's on you now. Like, that's not fair, I don't know. I mean, that's just my personal honest opinion. Let's take a look at the last one. Now, you know how this one loves to say that she's not a gold digger? Where's the gold? Where is the gold? Like, I, I saw it. Where is it? I'd be a lot happier if I... Okay. <clears throat> Here's an actual... An actual gold digger. Take a look. I met Grant on the Sugar Daddy, Sugar Baby dating site. We clicked right away. I was surprised to find true love online. She's only in it for the money. Well, you are! Oh my god, stop it with this bullshit. You are only in it for the money. You said that! God, you literally said that! Look at all these gifts she keeps getting! My dad, he doesn't approve. My dad doesn't approve about my daddy. <sighs> this is 21-year-old Sabrina. 21! Oh my god, stop it! I'm 21. Oh my god. This is 21-year-old Sabrina. She fell in love with... 60 year old Grant. Oh my god, don't do that! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just in love, don't judge. <laughs> you met on this dating site called Seeking Arrangements? Oh, I know that website. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, it's mostly known as a sugar baby, sugar daddy website. <laughs> hey, that's what you sent me. Hello, how was your night? <clears throat> Right away. When we met, I was 21. So, this same year, you mean? Cool. I thought I would find a sugar daddy and it would just be like a financial situation. Although 21 year old Sabrina first saw 60 year old Grant as more of a business venture than a romantic figure. And now she gets mad, you know? People, people yell at her, they're like, Gold Digger. She's like, ah, it was just the beginning. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Still in you. Doesn't matter, shit. Like, you, you only want- you, you, come on. Things quickly changed as they got to know one another. We clicked right away, but now, like, it's for love, it's not for money, and I'm really happy. In the beginning, we would hang out, like, several times a week, because he's retired, he has a lot of time. <laughs> oh my god, she just plugged that in, you know? He's retired, he has a lot of time. Because he's retired. He's retired, he has a lot of time. And the more we got to know each other, the more that I just liked him as a person. There was something above and beyond just a typical meeting of someone. Despite the relationship no longer being a financial arrangement, that's not got in the way of Grant showering Sabrina with gifts. So, I don't know, it looks pretty much still like a financial agreement to me. So, like, this is a sterling silver piece. Oh my god, get out. And there's another one, it has a different finish to it. We just thought they really stood out. I mean, they might be a little gaudy to some people, but I really love it. Oh my god, girl, what? <gasps> I kind of grew up with this type of jewelry. You know, even with this, even with jewelry selection, it's just amazing how we uh, match on this area as well. Oh, she don't care, bitch! <laughs> just tell her it's gold, she'll take it. <gasps> That's what Gold Digger is, I'm sorry, but... He just treats me like a princess. He's my diamond. <laughs> diamond Daddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what a sugar daddy, sugar baby, you know, di Diamond Daddy? She calls him Diamond Daddy. Why sugar, you know? Diamond Daddy. <laughs> he don't give no sugar, no, he gives diamonds. Diamond Daddy. Why? Right now I still live in a duplex with my dad, an apartment, but... 
I really want to move in with him because I feel like it's the right step, you know. However, their large age gap hasn't been met with much support from Sabrina's family. Unsurprisingly. My dad, he doesn't approve. He's so stubborn. My daddy doesn't like my sugar daddy. I'm sorry, my diamond daddy. Like, there's my just dad, you know, dad. And then there's diamond dad. My dad is 57. <gasps> her dad is younger, younger than her boyfriend. My dad is 57. So he is three years younger than Grant, who is 60. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd really like my family to meet him. But I just hope they would see how happy I am. It's not superficial, it's real what we have. It really is. I've never felt about anyone the way I feel about Graham. Love, don't judge, you know. And the lack of support has extended further than just Sabrina's family. Yeah, I have been married, I have three children uh, from the same uh, mother. Oh my god, wait, how old are your children? See, that's that's where it gets a little bit a little bit uncomfortable. Do your children know that you're a sugar daddy? Have you have you told them? Oh god, no, don't ask them. Oh my god, they really came at him. They really just came at him. Do your kids know that you're a sugar daddy? They do know that. We don't discuss it, but they're skeptical. Imagine being a father, okay, and wasting your money and showering somebody your children's age with gifts rather than spoiling your own kids. I cannot fathom. Maybe in the very beginning, um, I thought, well, what are people going to think? And then I, I already knew I didn't really care. He's been asked actually a number of occasions, is that your daughter? <laughs> and I was like, oh no, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> people just think it's, it's about money and that's it. I really didn't expect it at all. It just happened on virtually every level. It's just a relationship now, like any other relationship. It's not about money, it's about love. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know what? Look, the, the message from today is to love, don't judge. Wow. So, yeah, you know, while I'm pretty skeptical about that last one in particular, you already know my thoughts on the first first couple. I already told you my honest opinion. I think it's a little selfish from the guy because me putting myself in his shoes, you know, I wouldn't do what he did. Like, if I was 17, I was alone, and I want a company while I grow old. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of women my age that are also in my same, you know, similar situation. And I'm sure they would be lovely people. So I wouldn't need to, you know, take someone's 20-year-old daughter. No, it's, it's... That's A. B, the second one, I'm pretty skeptical about that one, fam. That one's, that one's pretty sugar baby sugar daddy to me, right? And diet, sorry. Diamond, Diamond Daddy. What are your opinions? Let me know down in the comments below. Share your thoughts. How big should an age gap be in your opinion? Or does age just not matter at all? I don't know, you you guys tell me. What's your ideal type, you know? Let me know as well down in the comments below, guys. And drop a thumbs up for another part of this because bitch, it keeps coming. Yeah, the bizarre relationships on love, don't judge. They keep getting, well, you know, I don't want to be judgy, but worse. <laughs> Yeah, but that was pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Um, 40,000 likes for a part three on this. And uh, yeah, I'm going out. See you next time, baby. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna go. Ciao. I mean, bye. Bye. See you. You're so cute today. Um. I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. You have no idea. I'm just gonna like go eat now and uh, uh, hit me up. Yeah, whenever you want to hang out, just let me know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye guys. See you. Mm -hmm.